Madam CJ Walker, you ready? <laughs> Who that is? And every time this dark cloud come around, they argue and argue. And she probably was like, let me look at my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> she, she did it. Can I get a new one? <laughs> you know what? I don't need you. Child support. I don't need you. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you, Keish. <laughs> I love her at the same time. <laughs> no, you, she, ain't, she ain't lying. She ain't lying. Message. Message. So Cardi B announced that she was divorcing Offset and has gone through with it. She was just like, I don't like the fact that we argue all the time. We don't see eye to eye. Do you think that Cardi should have just held on to the the marriage went into another wave? So, you know, because we all, I mean, most most of us are married here. Oh, and yeah. we've been like, through- no, 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 let's, let's correct that. It's all y'all. All We're y'all. Gonna- <laughs> for me, so I'm going to sit down for this one, but go ahead. No, <laughs> you, you, call, you call these demographic. That's yeah. true. The same so age. she, they got married in 2016, right? I believe so. And and then they got in this 2020, so four years. Yes, four years. Uh, um, I think she should have waited. And the reason why I'm gonna say that is because with COVID, they haven't been able to uh perform like they normally do. And in an interview, she had mentioned, you know, Cardi B is funny. She's like, yeah, all we do is sit around and fuck and eat right. and all kind of stuff. Excuse my French. So. I'm assuming because they're not making the money like they used to. They're not traveling. They don't have they. They not in they different the shows. And they're and home together. You ladies know when you home with your mate, twenty four seven. This has been a trying year for marriages. I think across the board. This and year. The first, and what? the first five years. Is, the first what? five years is hell. How <laughs> oh, marriage is. The first five years is hell and marriages. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm still in that first five. So, yeah. So, after the five years, then you're like, okay, I think she should have waited. I think she should have waited till this whole pandemic had ended. I think she should have. But you know what? We don't know the, we the don't know, right. details. She because... just said they kept arguing and they weren't. Yeah, but I think because they were up under each other. And they not. Right. Sure she had time. a big enough house where he could go on his side, she could go on her side. You know what I mean? I wondered if they. um. Did they do marriage counseling? Mm. Or are they doing marriage counseling? I don't I don't know. Um, because if, when she said that that was her reason that, you know, she's tired, she's tired of arguing. She's tired of arguing and she said she don't want it to be where now, you know, someone starts cheating because of uh, all of the rift that's uh, happening in the house. I'm like, well, were they going for marriage counseling? I don't know. Because they never said. Mm-hmm. You know that that's just that part of it. Um, but I I don't think that you should make a a long term decision on a temporary feeling, like mm-hmm. her saying she's tired. Is she always going to be tired? You know, well, and that's the thing too. If okay, it could also be, it could also be that they weren't ready for the responsibility of marriage. True. Yeah. It could be. It could just be very. It could just very well be they just were not ready for marriage it doesn't mean they didn't love each other it doesn't right. mean that they didn't want to be with one another they probably just wasn't mentally ready for marriage how old were they when they got married yeah they, i don't know they're, they're not even 30 years old yet no, no. That's, what, that's eve's demographic they're not even 30 you know, years old i'm sorry to cut you up but what also plays a big part is they always got a lot of people around them Yes, yes. That plays, that plays a big part too, because when you arguing with your mate, you need to be by yourself. You don't need people yeah. in the next room saying, "Ah, oh, that ain't right." He shouldn't be talking to Car- Car- Cardi right. like that, because then somebody's gonna give you their pain. Like Cardi, you know you could do better than girl. She's, you <laughs> what? she's she's her birthday is like right after yours. The Libra. She's in October. She's an October kid. She's October eleventh. Mm-hmm. Cardi B and Offset could both be my children. My child is older than both of them. 
And I can honestly say that my child isn't mentally ready to be married to anyone. Right. My therapist asked me today, she was just like, are you ready to marry someone? And And I was, I I told her, I was just like, huh? I said, what do you say? I told her, no. I said, I'm not mentally ready for a marriage. I can't, I can't even handle my own shit. How can I handle somebody else's right now? (laughs) That's, 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 that's the truth. I mean, you tell, you tell, you tell. Mm-hmm. No, just keep, keep telling your truth, girl. Go ahead. (laughs) Keep telling. No, like. Since me and Cardi are like the same age, actually, she's only one year older than me. Um, I do feel like she should have waited a little bit, but also I do, I do believe in the, the, you know, the enjoyment of marriage. I do believe in the spiritual aspect of it. So I do feel like they should have held on a little more because it does say for sickness and health, it does say for, you're going to have good times. You're going to have bad yeah. times. I do, and I'm a big, big person on therapy. Like, I would tell a person that I'm dating, even we could have great times together, I would be like, you know what, we should try therapy together, because I know I'm not going to come across you all the time the way you need me to come across, vice versa. So I do believe that, I don't know if they didn't or did not or whatever, but I do believe that they should have stuck it out and did cap counseling. Like, did they even have premarital counseling? I do believe in all of that. Like, if I have a man, we're going to counseling. Because once we get married, that's it. So let me ask you a question, Eve. Do you think that, because me and the girls were talking about this last night, do you think that marriage is viewed the same when you're on that status um, mm-hmm. financially and in the entertainment industry? I don't think it is, because you see how a lot of... Cel- I'm sorry, Eve, she asked you that question. Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can answer after she finished. Go ahead, Eve, go ahead. Um, I, don't, I don't care if they're at a lower level or whatever, because at the end of the day, I don't look at what you are. I, I look at you as a person, and as a regular no, I'm, just, I'm talking about marriages like look at like j-lo and the people that you know that been like Haley holly berry you know take it as seriously i think they just like okay it's another season let me just change my husband like <laughs> i just, like i don't think they put in a lot of work because they have the advantage of well i got it all i could pick and choose who i want to be around yeah and i think also especially for the women when you make a certain amount of money, you be like, you know who I am. Right. I do that. And I work at freaking a hospital in HR. And I'm like, do you know <laughs> what I got? Nigga, I made you. Like, I will be that type of person. <laughs> so. I would never, ever say anything like that to my husband. Okay. <laughs> yeah. that, let's be honest. Thinking. Let's I be honest. I never, ever say that to my husband. You don't have to say it. You ain't got to say it. You just you just walk with your head high like. <laughs> no, 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 no. As much as he thinks I'm disrespectful, I'm really not as disrespectful as I could be. That's true. This and I think that I think that goes for all of us. I think we hold back because we, we, because we respect them as the leaders of our household, right. and you know we give them that credence and that that position. Yeah, but then I be cursing his ass out in the bathroom by myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 semicolon. Yeah, semicolon. However, oh, however. Comma, Come up. You want to know how I feel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I oh, yeah. Do not have a, I do not, you will never ever say, Definitely. That I did not let you know how Definitely. I felt about a situation. Yes. I, I, and I don't let it wait, sit, and fester. Mm. I let you know right then and there. Yes. Can I talk to you about something? Can I talk to you real quick? Hey. <laughs> She would be like, oh, what, what's, what now? What happened? You do know that that, but that, but that can come off to people as being disrespectful. Right. To me, it's not being disrespectful because I'm not going to let you walk around thinking that what you said or what you did right. was okay. a-okay to do because right. if I don't check you now, right. it's going to happen again. So knowing knowing who you else. are and knowing who both of you married, I'm talking to uh, Keish, matter of fact, I'm talking to all three of y'all. Shana, knowing who you married, if 
you were at J Lo status right now. <laughs> Listen, you you had your residency in Vegas. You waiting Uh-oh. for tonight? You know, you doing all of that, right? <laughs> Johnny, ain't nobody on your phone. Put the phone down. <laughs> and, and, and you you doing movies, charting, chartering jets, and all this stuff. You know, you chilling in Bucharest. You know, got, got a yacht in San Tropez. Will you put up with the same things that you put up with now? I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> you can't plead the no fifth. <laughs> what does he do? He uh, does what he does. He does the same thing he does now. The same exact problems. <laughs> He, he do the same job he do now, and I'm yes. J-Lo status? I'm J-Lo? Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. That's a different. <laughs> okay. So, so where we got married. Y'all been the same amount of time. Y'all been on the same amount of time. I think, okay, for me, I think my situation is very interesting because when I got with him, I wouldn't have been J-Lo status. Right. Yeah, no, no that's no, what I was you, saying. You, let's say, this what is what this is. Say, okay. Shana? What I'm gonna gonna wait, say? hold up. No, that's why I was going to give you the scenario. Okay? All right, give me the scenario. Right, so y'all are at J Lo status now, as far right. as financially, you can do whatever you want. Right. So, what happens is we have this show, right? And right. we become overnight successes. However, okay. it wasn't overnight because we paid dupes. Right. You got your books out, you know, right. you, 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 um, whatever you do on Oprah's, uh, whatever show. You know, um, <laughs> go on TV or Oprah's book club. You no, know, Keisha's Keisha's out here. Keisha's out here balling with her um a booming hairline. She's selling all over the country. You know, mm-hmm. just money's coming in from everywhere. So you started right. from the bottom, but now you're right. here, and now we're here. Yes, but your husband still has the same job. Okay, now okay. you get it. And, and what I tolerate, what I tolerate from him now, what I'm tolerating from him now, what I, I do now, once I get there, yes. I'm going to answer this question the same way my husband will answer this question. I'm going to always look out for you because you rode for me. Mm. You've been down. Mm. You've always been there. I'm going to make sure you good. Mm. Not, <laughs> I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to make sure. That's the question you. I'm asking. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. My Wait brother knows how to how to we talk. How to dodge. He know how to dodge ball. I what, ha- what you say? What you say? My brother, my brother know how to dodge ball because that's Wait. not answering the question. <laughs> Wait a minute, but I, but I love my husband. Don't you understand? I love my my husband. Been down with me since day one. He rode for me. So you know I'm gonna keep him. I'm not getting rid of him. The same way I tell him I'm gonna divorce him every day now. I'm going to still do that when I get to that stage. Y'all ever heard that song by August? I've seen the call Entanglement, Entanglement, Entanglement. Y'all heard the song? So what you trying to say? Wait, wait, remember when I told y'all Mariah Carey told Nick Cannon? Mariah, Nick Cannon said Mariah would tell him, I'm going to leave you for a billionaire. Watch. (laughs) She did. What did she engage to? (laughs) He was not cute. He was not cute at all. Wait, oh, here's my other thing I say to him. With my new husband, (laughs) I will be dealing with this nonsense with my new husband. So yeah, I'm gonna take care of him, but now I'm gonna be with my new husband. (laughs) He's gonna be in the outhouse. He's gonna be in the outhouse. He got he got house. He got house. Listen, I'm gonna make sure he's good. I'm gonna buy him a nice house and and pay for it for him. I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna help him build a mass jet. I'm gonna do anything in my power to make sure he's good. But I'm gonna just do my new husband. You gonna write a book about it and be on Oprah Super Soul Sunday talking about how she she managed both. Yes, yes. But you know, so I, I'm kind of being a hypocrite right now because as we're talking, I'm really my wheels are turning. <laughs> and so I'm in the in the seat of I'm thinking of I'm being Cardi B right now. Uh-huh. And if offset is being an asshole, because men can be assholes. Like, you know, this year has oh, been really God. effed up for everybody. So 
people been in some serious depression. So Offset could have been in a depressed mood and was just putting a dark cloud over everybody. Mm -hmm. And Cardi, you know, Cardi seemed like the type that she wants to have a good time or just be in a good spirit. Yeah. And every time this dark cloud come around, they argue and argue. And she probably was like, let me look at my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> she, she did that. Can I get a new one? Like, <laughs> you know what? I don't need you. I don't need child support. I don't need you. But like, you got to realize he had years of infidelity. So this was probably her last show, like, bro. He said it had nothing it to had do with infidelity. Had it had nothing to do. And I'll, I'm going to be honest. Even though she said it had nothing to do with it, that was always in the back of her head. Yeah, but y'all know my attitude about, yeah, I say it all the time. Yes, we know. Yes, I we got know. bigger, we got bigger beef. We know, we know. We got bigger <laughs> beef. So, but, but let's just think about it. In a situation, it don't have to be about broads. It could be about all the other arguments that they're having. Right. Like but, China, but China has not answered the question. Oh. Would I stay? If you were in the J Lo status, status, I would stay. <laughs> oh, like, I would stay. Okay, why would you stay? Well, I gave y'all, I gave y'all my reasons why I'm staying, and what, but I ain't really staying. Coming with my new husband, but go ahead. <laughs> well, because he's not a. a the Malayne, like he always like has his own, like the the about the fact that he he don't have he he doesn't have his own. Like you out there with Yas on Sancho Pay, you be in <laughs> you be in, you know. Okay. We're not talking about he don't have a job. We, no. <laughs> he's working, he's he got his businesses, he's doing right. his thing, whatever. Okay. So I said I stay. Now, one thing I will oh, wait, say. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How many years you've been married? It's only been four. And that's why that's her answer. Exactly. Well, it's only we, been four. We'll, we'll ask you that are, question next answer? year. You like, ask me after five. What's your answer, What's your answer? What's your answer? What's your answer? Ask me after five. Keep him around because he's my best friend. Be over Listen, I told you I'm gonna take care of him and make sure he's good. That's right. I'm with my new husband. I'm with my new husband. No, I ain't I, with nobody's husband. I, mm -mm. My new husband, because I always tell him now, my what my new me. husband won't do. One thing I will say though is if he is a my biggest cheerleader, if he's like, girl, you doing your thing. Right. You, you keep up the you keep these lights on like if he's giving me my props i'm keeping him around but if right. he did like i remember mary j Blige said like she will literally be right before she go on stage can do would say some effed up shit in her ear to make her feel bad about herself mm -hmm. all right go ahead and sing now he that kind of dude that's what why he was doing up boy that's what he was doing up dances right what can do on what stage. Wait, what Kendra used to tell her go out on the stage? He didn't tell her go sing. He told her go out on the stage. So you know you ain't cute. Go out there. <laughs> no, well, yeah. If, you, if, you, if, well, if, if they I'll be honest cute, with you, obviously. Yeah, if, but if you was J Lo status and you got a dude telling you you ain't cute. Oh you yeah, ain't that's sugar totally honey iced tea. Yeah, that's you don't look totally good. You don't. Something well, totally why, why am I keeping you around? Exactly. And, and, and that's why I didn't understand with Mary because she was the breadwinner. But you know what, ladies, you know how men make can make can f up your spirit and your soul. So he 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 <laughs> tear you down. Down. He was tearing her down. He tore her I down. Think, but that but that wasn't a can do thing. I think I that wasn't a can do it all. That was a Mary thing. That was about how Mary, Mary felt thing. about he Mary. Was like he was Trump. He exacerbated all, it. Yeah. All of her, but all of her relationships appeared to have been volatile anyway. And she always talked about the lack of esteem that she had within herself. She was looking for him to make her feel better about herself. Can't nobody do that for you. Remember that song she had, The Father in You? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like. But I think a lot of people tolerate stuff like that because of how they feel about Nothing themselves. Fair. True. 
Me on the other hand, my mouth too goddamn big. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm 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 trying. I'm trying to close it, but it'd be like I it'd be like, you know, when you got something that's too tight and you pull it down and it pop back up. <laughs> like, like that's why my husband listen. So do you think it's a coincidence that Cardi B filed for divorce like literally after like three, four weeks of WAP? <laughs> Offset's opinion about that. about that video. Like, what was he thinking? But she's always been sexual. She's even always been that way. way. But that one was like the cherry on top of the whole Sunday. That one was like, okay. No, I follow her on Instagram. That I've okay. seen more than that on really. On okay. IG. Yeah. So she was a stripper. I just, you know what? Although she she's fought, somebody mama. That's his. That, and you gotta keep my his mother is a, a upstanding citizen. You know, so he got, he it, got how many baby mamas? Right. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ain't it four? Three and a wife. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's four. Including Cardi? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. That's not bad. He ain't 30 yet. He's not 30. And he got four baby mamas. But you know what? Oh, but you come from the loins of someone who was in 30. <laughs> so that ain't bad. That ain't bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> Cardi is also in the news because of her and her sister. And apparently her sister's girlfriend has gotten uh, harassed by some quote unquote MAGA supporters. And these people have in turn after Hennessy posted the video of the of the said incident to her IG, these people have now filed a lawsuit against Cardi B and Hennessy. Those people would not have known who they were had Hennessy never posted that video. Yep. And what is going to hurt her in that video? She's calling her, you Karens, you this. And I'm like, you posted a video with you showing yourself as being an aggressor. Yeah. And one thing <clears throat> Cardi needs to understand, and I know she loves her sister to death, but the name Cardi B is a brand. Yeah. Yep. So every time she lead, every time she record anything or she's around somebody else, they represent her brand. Yep. That's all I got to say. And the girlfriend, her girlfriend could have been harassed. She could have been getting harassed. Oh, but once that day that started, all you see is her be like, you know, or you hear her, I should say, being you know like, they the money. You know they getting money. Yeah. Ooh. They heard the name Cardi B. It was like, oh, well, they gonna get ooh. Now they done they done clean themselves up, got on suits and ties and whatnot. <laughs> they gonna put a, um that thing around their neck, you know, when people <laughs> have an accident. <laughs> <laughs> I got whiplash. Yes, I, I got whiplash. <laughs> when I was trying to flee the scene, I turned the neck quickly <laughs> in my neck. <laughs> I need um, anxiety pills now. I can't sleep at night. I need Ambien. I'm so traumatized from that one day. <laughs> no, they, they, they'll say her followers me. have sent them death threats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> they have to go into hiding. Yes, yes. yes. Cardi B's yes. followers. So they, the, the lawyer knows the exact terms to use. Yeah. And I'm sure they'll get some dollars. Yeah. They sure will. So, Ray J announced his divorce to Princess Love on social media. <laughs> but then he was on some. The real? The, yeah, say you know, and he was almost in tears. So and I'm just the, the like real, the real host was like, "Did you go to counseling?" He was like, "Nah, I think counseling is 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 like a you know." It's I like a, they were like, "Yo, go to counseling. Go home to your wife. Go home to your kids." Because he looked like he about to have a breakdown. <laughs> he don't want to hurt her no more. So then stop hurting her. <laughs> Stupid. How about that? <laughs> How about that for a solution? I don't want to yeah. hurt you no more. Just stop hurting her. He dropped a new album and now you file for divorce. But you don't Ray want to. Ray J dropped a new al album? Oh, yeah. Radiation. Radiation X. Really? Because it's, it's 10 or 15 years from the One Wish album. 
Oh wow! Yeah. When was the drop? I ain't getting no. Oh, I ain't getting no oh. news about that. Oh, Shana. Hear, this is the first I'm hearing about that. Shana, he didn't call you and tell you. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> like, wait, <laughs> that happened. <laughs> Um, it, was it Kaya? Was it you and that I was talking about? Did I said Ray J? It was you that t told you that Ray J had filed for divorce, and you was like, "But then the wife and I was like, yeah, that was the, the last." And she was the yeah, first she one, and then she called it back, and now he filed for divorce. Yeah, and she um, didn't know. If they have to go through that much back and forth, you know what? Yeah, and yeah. they do too much on social media oh, and yeah. too much publicly. Oh my God, that's so. I just yeah. don't understand, like, why do like the whole. You know, oh well, I'm a tweet, and then okay, well, I'm a tweet back, and then it's it's yeah, just like, like why y'all even who it's y'all okay, it's all right, y'all stay over there and do it. I, they handled it like Monica, like Monica would say, like I handled that already and everything, and now. It's over before it we happened whole, it happened a whole year before y'all found out. It was over <laughs> before we found out about it. Before everything, and you know, like they always back and forth, Twitter beefing, having shows, putting their like, business. Why we gotta see it? I was never about putting my business on social media. Like, oh, it's, it's too mind. much with them. <laughs> like, come on, y'all, y'all grown people. I, and also, so I think Ray J, like looking at the reality show, like he went from being a man whore to abruptly said, okay, I'm going to get married. So he was, he, he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. I think he got married. And I know he loved her to death. But right. even, even his own mo mother knew he wasn't ready to get married. Mother so. didn't want him marrying her. I know that much. He definitely didn't. Yeah. Yeah, but it's okay. Um, it's, yeah, but there's two kids now. Yeah. And, and what does that the, mean? As a little boy. And what does that mean? I'll be honest with you. What does that mean? It's two kids. She was going through that before she made baby number two. So she bought another that baby before she even married. Before she that, was, right? She before. made a baby. They were. They was. A, I don't understand. Why would you willingly have a baby when you already in confusion? <laughs> you in confusion. And now you bringing a baby into your confusion. Well, she and said she wanted a family. She didn't have the family unit. Right. Or right. They, and guess oh. what you don't have now? Okay. No. Because they think, it, like, usually they think babies. So she got her kids now. But she, yeah, she wanted somebody to love her because she didn't have the relationship like that with and her. I mean, her kids going to love her. And that don't mean her kids going to love her. True. See, people got this notion that kids make your life different. It they does. Do your, they do make <laughs> your life different. Just not in the way you thought they was going to make your life different. It does not mean... are like Trump, too. They exacerbate whatever's there. It, it doesn't mean... Because if, you're, if your relationship is already volatile, please it's understand, volatile. when right. children come into the mix, Lord Jesus Christ... I had, a boom, 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 boom. Just I had a conversation so. with somebody and they was like, well, you know, I'm not going to be a single mother. At least I'm married. And I said, so because you're married, you think that a quote unquote single mother only means that, you know, a woman who don't got a husband. I said, because you could be married and, and still, still be a single mama be the, and be the single mother my thing is because women some women think that once they see that face that everything is going to change no 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 and that she pushes no. them away especially when that child is crying yep listen so i'm saying princess love before you had a baby with ray j y'all was on tv fighting you was cussing out the mama cussing out the sister Cussing out him, cussing out the women. You had a baby. You got mad at him when he so-called left you in Vegas or whatever yeah, that story yeah. was. Yeah, you filed yeah. for divorce. Right. You pull the paperwork back. You get back with him. You have another baby. Yep. And it's the same thing that's going on. So that family that you was looking for, girl, you still don't have it. You just have children that now you brought into this mix. And now if you and your husband decide that y'all are going to divorce, he's going to live here, you're going to live there. The kids now got to divide their time between their parents. Mm -hmm. Or if y'all decide to stay together, the kids going to grow up in a home 
where mom and dad is constantly bickering with one another. So what have you done to your children? What have you done to your family? And it's just for the sake of what she wanted. Mm -hmm. What she, it was right. It was, well, I want this right here and now. You know, it's funny that we were, we were talking about two separate couples. We're talking about Cardi B and Offset and Princess and Ray J. And both couples haven't been married that long. No. So no. It's, it's interesting that they both have like two separate situations. But at the end of the day, I think both parties need to grow up and sit down and figure out where do we go from here? Mm-hmm. They both got kids. Ray J lo- is obviously he loves his kids, and I think that's the demon within him because he wants to be that single guy out there, right? But, but he the time, right, because he sees his father. His father seems like he was a great father to the two of them, right? You know? And he he wants he wants to be you know Willie, but right, there's only one Willie, you right. know. Well, yeah. well, it, don't you guys? He a junior. He a junior, <laughs> but there's <laughs> only one Willie. Right. right. They don't call him Willie. They call him right. Ray J. They call him Ray J. Yeah. So he and could. You know what? Well, these men out here, these rappers or or even regular dudes in the street, if you really feel like you can't settle with just one woman, there are hundreds of women out there that are willing to be with you in another bra. Mm-hmm. So find them. Right. Like how that, that rapper Blueface, he had two chicks living with him. Mm-hmm. Like instead of some, some their- people are fine with that. But they need to find girls like that so that when they are producing babies with babies with them, the girls find that, okay, I got this baby with you, but your other chick, she might get pregnant too. Right. It's going to be one big happy family. Like um, ODB, ODB's um, son. He doing that now. He trying to do that now. Sister really? Sister wives. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, sister wives. Yeah, do it. Like, this day and age, guys need to stop lying to these chicks and telling them I love you and you're the only one for these, me. These chicks will do anything and just be like, oh, Miss Tamar. Tamar Braxton, she's been out of the news lately, but in the news because her um, estranged boyfriend called the cops and got a restraining order against Tamar because he said she was abusive. Well, he posted a, a thing on like the day of or the day before something with him and her son. So then why did you pretend as if you were this one big, one big happy family and then you got on Instagram live and he, he gave this whole spiel about how he loves her, but then you follow a restraining order. You, nobody knew who you were before Tamar. Mm-hmm. He was a, a business. the businessman. He had his own, okay. But nobody knew who you were. Let me so ask I, a question. Wait, 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 wait. I just have a, so you say that to say what though, Shauna? Because I just feel some the timing of it. It was some her show came out. He didn't some like come across as a them as a good dude. So it just he seemed, didn't come. He didn't come across as a good guy on her that, show. It, it just seemed he seemed them to control her. Okay, but. <clears throat> Even okay, so but even if he posted a video of her and his son looking like one big happy family, we all know that today <laughs> I can make the appearance that we are one big happy family, <laughs> and tomorrow I'll be on the phone and be like, Keisha, you know, last night I was ready to bust this one in his head, right? <laughs> it happens, but he was never the them the outward person. He was always like, that's her. I'm gonna stay in the background. Da, 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 so you no. think he was so you think he was trying to be more more out now? It's just the timing of it. I just think this comes off the cuff of her um her breakdown where there were so many questions about it and her family was alluding to 
he yeah. may have had something to do with it as well. Right. So we don't know oh, what was yes. going on we in don't that know. It's all it up. seems very strange. Allegedly, and right. I know we had this conversation, Kai, about you just got over Vincent and right. you praising was, your I new he this and I'm in love and you on Wendy Williams keep right. in and doing your whole mm -hmm. right. damn hard thing. Save your head ball. <laughs> right. I don't know if it is a timing thing for him or if it was just the timing of everything happening. Yeah, I think everything. Can you, wait, can we just review what happened? Like, wasn't something happened in the Rolls Royce? What she, happened? Uh, this apparently, is what he, he said, said, huh? Um, this is what he said. Uh, according to his account, they were driving and she was being violent towards him while he had the steering wheel and he called his mom yeah. on speaker so that she could hear pray. Yeah, everything that's going on. So she immediately went into prayer because of the fact that he was so scared because she was being abusive and you know he thought that they were going to crash and he thought that he was going to die mm -hmm. does that story sound does that story <laughs> sound does that story sound far-fetched or impossible no no because no, because if somebody is cursing me out, I'm going to make sure. So I, yeah, I want to witness. I, I'm like, oh, especially as a black man. Especially yeah. as a black man. Yeah. Yeah. Be like, you yeah, have a witness. Be cool. He was very, um, <laughs> I don't know if it was due because of the show when they were on Braxton Family Values. She was very overly, you know, aggressive with him. And he was so you know, passive. And I'm very. just like, why are you like, literally degrading this man like if he's talking you mushing his face to the side like don't getting upset with him because she was arguing with people and he still wanted to be around the family when they did the trip the, the yeah, yeah yeah that was so it was so disrespectful and so it's embarrassing so sure that's why i don't think i don't know if it's a timing on his part or just a timing of everything, everything. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, I'm not, because I know she's been through some mental stuff, so I'm not, I'm not going to degrade her at all. And I think that yeah, plays, I, we're I think, not, we're not degrading her. And I think, and, but that's what I'm saying, I think that plays a in major part, part yeah. in a lot of the situation, because Keisha, don't lose your thought. My girlfriend did the same thing to her boyfriend while he was driving. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it was because it was a lot that was going on already oh, right. within her. Right. Go ahead, Keisha. <laughs> no, but going to, I, I haven't watched the show, but from what you're saying about him, her mushing him in his face. Now on, this was this was from I don't even know how long this was. This even in 2020? I don't. No, I don't, this was the. This was um, 2019. Some I know my, sister, my sisters who told me to watch it because you know they re air it. Yeah. yeah. And she said, You gotta see this. This she, was so good. And you I was see like, any Whoa. of the, the, the scenes with her and him, you're like, Why are you treating a grown man like that? And why are you <laughs> acting like that as a grown woman with a child? Right. She has a lot that's of knowledge. That's the thing. Thing. That's the thing with her, yeah. That's the thing with Tamar that always had me look at her sideways because she's always had that bratty attitude from the first time they aired the, the, the sisters with their show. Like, she always had that persona about her and it always had me look at her sideways. So I, I'll be honest with you, like, I don't dislike her at all. And I, and I actually, you know, said a little prayer for her when she was going through her, her stuff. But when they took off the reel, I kind of was like, they needed to because she just brought this, negative she you know how sometimes, sometimes people bring something to the table and it's negative mm -hmm. she just had this thing about her that i just it was weird so i i don't like when especially black women down a black man especially on national tv like right. now they already got problems to begin with so right. now you're gonna as a black woman mush this black man in his face like which plays into which plays into all um, uh, so many of the stereotypes about us as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because we have the attitude and well, we, she's, she's that. She is she she personifies that. She does. You, she does. I, I, because I, all of this is all yeah. of this. Like 
all of the gifs that people say most of them are of her doing all of that <laughs> yeah like i'll be honest with you the way she was she used to treat vince i'm like why he deal with that but they but said that she he said that he was abusive but haven't you guys noticed it, that those are the women that have such a strong fan base the ninis the tamars People just love, 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 love that. You know why? You know why? Because they are the ones that people wish they could be. <laughs> they the one like that's, that's scary. The, that's the that's scary. I don't, I don't wish I could be that. I don't Hold wish on. I could be Nini. Or I'm not like saying Tamar has done so much plastic surgery. Like somebody told her she was ugly too, because she believed them. Because she was beautiful before all of that plastic surgery. She didn't have to do a drop. You know, but yeah. she doesn't. Because when they first, when it's the Tamar sisters first came out, I thought, I looked at her as the pretty one. I did. You see the, she looks plastic. I don't, I don't know if it's a California thing. <laughs> My girl, Lori Laughlin <laughs> was able to choose which jail <laughs> she wanted to go to for, for being a parent that <laughs> lied. To the university to for her her unmerited daughter to get into what was it, UCLA? Mm-hmm. You do remember the, the black woman that changed her child's address so she could go right. to school and she got five, five, five years. years. Five years. Ish. And with no choice of prison. She up there with the rapist, the pedophile, the killers. Exactly. Or changing the school, or changing the high address. So, do you think okay. this has anything to do with race? No, no, no not at all. No. <clears throat> not at all. Not uh, out. I don't think it has anything to do with race. Okay, you don't think it's okay. racial? Take your time. <clears throat> Take your time. Take your time, mother. <laughs> I don't think it's a race issue. What is it? I think it's more classism than racism. Uh, I think they both play a part. Remember when <laughs> Remy Ma and Lil Kim went to jail? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not snitching. Hey, hey, uh, speak that. Speak that fire. Spit that fire, Keish. What you say? You remember? Wait a minute. Why did Remy? Why did Remy? Remy oh. went to jail. Oh, yeah, she, Remy, Remy had a fight. Yeah. Oh yeah, she did. Remy she went to jail because Remy's a bad guy. Okay, okay yeah, let's talk about yeah. Lil Kim. Just Lil Kim. Just Lil Kim. Just Lil Kim. The little kid was okay. a well. You want to okay? Well, then that take us to a whole nother conversation. Bobby, Bobby Schmurda being denied and the boy with a thousand colors in his hair being home. But you know, the, the difference was with with Schmurda. He didn't snitch. He didn't snitch. I know he the stood thing. there and said, <laughs> "No, I ain't gonna tell." And they said, "Okay." Right, I know that. Right, that's, 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 that's just that's the it's point. It's all about this, you know. But I think in that, I think in the um in that other situation, I think it's more class than race. Race is a may play a part in it, but it's more classism than racism. Because yeah, I, the, like like I I agree with Eve. I think it's a mixture of both. Is because you know the elite will never be treated like the commoner, mm -mm. ever. So you think if Oprah Winfrey got arrested, um, she'll be in a, she'll get to choose her. Well, Oprah Winfrey goes to the Bilderberg. She went to the Bilderberg meetings, so I don't know if she get that same treatment as Bobby Smart. She might get the she might get a she might not even go to court. She probably get a deposition, and you know her lawyers take care of stuff, and she pays a fine. <laughs> Remember, um, what's um Snoop Dogg's uh? But that's class. What's Snoop Dogg's um partner? Uh, what's her name? His cooking partner. Oh, oh Martha. Oh, okay, I picture her. Ma Martha, um, she she did inside of trading. Mm -hmm. And she went to Club Fed. And she went to Club Fed. I can't. Michael, Michael Michael Cohen is out. That's he's it. selling books. He's on every show. I he was just on Don Lemon. 
his, he was on, um, you know, my boy, Bill Maher, you know, I watched Bill Maher all the time. He was yeah, on, like, on Bill Maher's show last Friday. He, you know, he's on at, uh, on The View. He did he the View. doing his press runs to sell his book. But he was, he went to prison because you was, like, you supported this man <laughs> wholeheartedly. The man made, made some snide comments about your daughter and you didn't check him then. But now you're saying that you had this, this epiphany because of your family. Buy my book. Trump's <laughs> 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 a liar. Buy my book. You want to know what I said? Buy the book. And now he's the New York Times bestseller. Yeah, you know, because because he buy the book. book. <laughs> so, any takeaways, ladies? I said last time. Um, Keep God first. Oh, yeah. Through all these um, trying times, God is here. And, and the problem is with a lot of the topics that we discussed, God is not mentioned. Right. Amongst those celebrities, amongst, amongst these politicians, God is not a, a matter. And they don't realize that God is in charge, and that's why all of this is happening. Come on, uh, preacher. <clears throat> My takeaway, the system isn't broken. It just wasn't created for us. So it's nothing to reform. We just need to create systems that include everyone. Race, creed, class, everyone. Okay, okay. Find this vote. Okay. Um, <laughs> even though it seems like we keep on getting knocked down, do not lose your voice. Your voice has power, your actions have power. Take every day in consideration on becoming a better person and a better spokesperson for your fellow people. Amen. Stay on code. We as black people, need to get on that code and we need to stay on that code if if we are all moving right everybody move right if we all moving left everybody move left obviously there are some of us that have not gotten that memo leave them alone but what we need to do is we need to be in a position where we can change laws and we cannot do that if we're not in a position to so that means vote and Hold your elected officials, uh, elected officials accountable, or run your dog on self. Be the next AOC. Get that's those, get those, get those uh, signatures, and get on a ballot. That's where those local elections come in, people. Yeah. Listen, Linda. I just want to quote um, our <laughs> Attorney General before we leave of uh, uh, Kentucky, Daniel Cameron. So he said. It is a great honor to receive the endorsement of the bipartisan Kentucky Fraternal Order of Police. To the men and women in blue, I pledge to be your advocate and your voice every day. When I first got into this race, I did so to bring focus to the public, public safety, safety challenge of our lifetime, the drug crisis. And there is so much work to be done to fight this epidemic. I am humbled to have this endorsement and as chief law enforcement officer in Kentucky, I will work every day to make our community safer, safer and our families and the citizens more secure. Well, that's a politician that kept his word. Yeah. Breonna Taylor, you deserve better. Mm. On Say, that her note, name. Say her name. Say her Say name. all their names. On that note, thank you to my sisters. Thank you to everyone that has been following this journey. We taking it, we taking it to infinity and beyond. <laughs> because we have something. And we're not going to have our voices be muted or silenced anymore. So to each, Cho, Lovey, <laughs> Shot is on, and EBE. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Good night. <laughs>